Hello, uh, my name is Head Bob. Welcome to the Omega Ruby Baton Pass Run. Uh, I have here with me Tucker. Hello. Um, so we're just gonna get started. We'll explain a little bit more during the uh, the intro sequence here. Uh, so let's start up in five, four, three, two, one. So, Baton Pass. Essentially, you've never heard of this category name before. Basically, what it means is for every single major fight in the run, so that includes, in this game, all eight gym leaders, the Elite Four, and Champion, you have to use a completely different Pokemon to, to beat it with. And so, um, so once you've beaten like, a gym leader with, with that Pokemon, you can't use it again. Um, so we're gonna get 13 different Pokemon. We're gonna use a variety of different stuff to, to you know, to risk the game. So it should be pretty exciting. It looks like we're already freezing. Oh no. Alright, we got about 30 minutes of intro here. Just stole this. So out. true. <laughs> yeah, a lot of just tutorial-esque things early on. Um, I didn't get a backup much kit for this run, so we're gonna see what stats we get and just kind of run with it. Um, we are gonna be using Mudkip for a decent amount of this run. Um, some of the major fights... Um, aren't done with Mudkip, so... Like Norman, obviously, we're not going to do with Mudkip. Um, and some other ones. So stats not aren't necessarily as important, but they do definitely matter. Yeah. When it comes to Baton Pass, um, usually you're not, like, super entirely focused on getting, like, good stats on the poke that you're going to use. It's mostly just, like, the ability to make any poke. Or any of the any stats of the poke that you want to work, basically. Which, oftentimes, this, like, results in a, you searching for, like, a specific poke that, like, just has a really good matchup for the gym leader fight, or an E4 fight. And that's really yeah. all it comes down to. Yeah, you're not really resetting for stats unless you literally, like, cannot find a way to beat the fight without a certain stat. And even that's just, like, kind of frowned upon. At least with this game, compared to, I've routed or ask baton pass and I routed XY baton pass. Um, the encounter rates of the Pokemon, like on each route, are a lot. Like there's less encounters per route to look for. So like when you're looking for a poke, the encounter rate's gonna be pretty high. Like normally it's gonna be like 30, 40 percent per per poke in this run, compared to maybe like a 10 or 20 in XY. Yeah, definitely. Uh, not so normalized distribution in this game compared to XY, where like every route had like a set, like, list of odds for the Pokemon that you can encounter. That, like, caps out at 20% for the best odds. But yeah, we're still gonna be picking Mudkip here, as mentioned before. Mudkip still deals with, um, at least one of the gym leaders in the best way possible, because of its ground typing. And, um, Compared to any percent, this Mudkip requirement that we have for Baton Pass is a little less stringent. Um, we don't necessarily need to save and reset for a Bio yeah. Mudkip because they're all going to be workable. Yeah, yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. I've obtained a set of the notes. Thank you, Head Bob. No problem. This is gonna be epic. So yeah, I was doing a bit of routing. I've only run this category full in full like one one or two times. Um so I did a bit of I've done a bit of rerouting since that run. Um so there's still some things that are kinda up in the air. 
um, in terms of like, will certain pokes work? There's, there's like obviously 13 different fights, so you have to just make sure that they they all work as you intend them to. Typically the AI is like pretty predictable in this game, so it's like normally not really an issue. Yep. But, um, so here's the first fight of the game. It's the Wild Pooch. The Wild Pooch has random stats, but uh, we also have random stats. He lands a crit, and it does like over 75, so... That's like a decent indicator that's good special, but like not quite the one that we always see because it's great. Um, yeah, special attack arguably matters more for this category just because like obviously like Hideki, the win rate is higher if you have good special attack and then also rival two. Um, like, yeah, like the important fights in the early game all are more geared towards your special attack than your attack. Um, there, there's there's some ranges after rival two that based on your attack um but in like considering we're not doing norman in this run most of the important ones are not bad to miss if we end up with like minus attack or something yeah so it can take less attack less defense um less speed these aren't deal breakers I would say the most important one is special attack in this in this. I ring. think so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, this guy here is showing us around. He'll give us, I believe, eleven potions. Yeah. Quite a few of them. It'll last for a long time. Significantly more than the original games. We're not really gonna run out of these. Except for some very extraneous circumstances. No one counted as cool. Definitely big chillin' with no encounters. So, got a rival fight here. Um, tackle is obviously a much better move than it was in the original games. So, um, this is pretty much always a three shot. It's a pretty bad sign in this case if it's not a three shot, because it's almost certainly minus attack. So we, we want to not have some horrible rolls, ideally. That's a fine roll. Yeah. Yeah, 50 power in Gen 6 and 7, and also 100% accuracy. So, huge upgrade. Um. Okay. So we got unrunnable defense for any percent. So it may require us to... I'm not sure whether I'm going to fight some optionals for a decky, but... The win rate in this case on Hideki is pretty low. Because for Brawly, we're only... As of right now, the plan is to just use our main for Brawly and use Mudkip for the rest of the fights. Because one thing about Baton Pass is if you want to try and like maintain the any percent road as much as you can, you have to make up for the experience that you're losing on each of the important fights that you're not doing. So, um, Mudkip's not going to be doing Roxanne, it's not going to be doing Brawly. Um, you gotta make up for the experience somehow. Yep. Not many, honestly. Hideki is like a, a very standalone fight. It just kind of is hard for no reason. I guess like before... The Sapphire route change, it was like Cool Trainer Brook. Oh, that's true, yeah. That was one of the most notorious trainers. I feel like typically it has to do with the fact that most random trainers don't really have good AI. Um, but sometimes they just do, like in Hideki's case. 
Roselia's case on CTB, I think it just... I mean, it just sees the 4x effective and just... So it has some sort of AI there. Mm -hmm. So the rest of our stats are, are pretty solid. Um, the only, only one we're worried about is defense here. Um, so we shouldn't be missing any of the like normal ranges or stu and stuff offensively. I don't think that would be redeeming for defense here, would be a plus two on this level. It'll yes, that the... would help. Yeah, it, would, it has to be pretty much Long exactly 31. Defense. Unlucky. No. Still chilling at the 0 to 14 minus nature area. I think the Aura soundtrack is pretty vibey. I, I had a fun time playing Aura, and I didn't really get bored of the soundtrack at all. It's really cool. I think where it really shines is like, I don't think there are any specific Aura soundtracks, like like major fights or anything, that necessarily shine more than like other games. But I think just like the all around like, like the route themes and like the things you like that are in like the background. I think they do that really well. It's very, yeah, like, just I, like a play through the game, just vibe. It is quite the immersive soundtrack they're in through. <laughs> yeah, so uh, just more tutorial stuff here. Dad Norman's gonna give Dude Wally a uh, Zigzagoon. Gonna use that Zigzagoon to catch a Rolls. That's definitely not only 4% to spawn for him. Yeah, he's very, he's very lucky. He somehow manages to get it every single run. Yeah, so. Annoying thing about the catching tutorial is while you can't really, like, do anything important in the story, you still have to, like, mash through it. Like, you still have to hold the B button and clear the text boxes as they come, or else you're, you're losing time. You can't really go up and get a snack or anything. Yeah, I believe they started to deviate from that, like, around, actually, Gen 4. Because HDS says you have to like mash for one thing, but in Gen 5 you have to mash for the moves. And then in Gen 6 you have to hold a button for every text box. Progressively gets worse. Yeah, critical hits are disabled in this catchy toot. As in um, the originals, but. Zigzagoon just can't do enough anymore. Yeah, everything's like set. Like, Zigzagoon's stats are set, Ralt's shininess is set. Or lack thereof. I think we only got one encounter so far. That's actually pretty good. So we're coming up on uh, on our first catch here. For Baton Pass. Hopefully it goes okay for us. Yep, and this is going to be um, our introduction to one of the main ways that we get some alt lane pokes for this run. It's a yeah. dex nav. Um, the way that the dex nav in essence works is that it allows you to find rare Pokemon more easily. 
Um, basically, these Pokemon that are like uh, that you can hear out loud and are like in the grass, like visibly in the grass in the overworld, uh, they contain the Pokemon that. Um, oh, I like, maybe should have caught that actually. <laughs> is is crying oh, well. out loud? Yeah. Um, what we are looking for is a Slackloth and also a Silken. Would have had both just now if I didn't have a dumb moment. Yeah, so one of the ways that you can mess up a Dex Knife is by running too close to the Pokemon. It will make it go away. Gotta sneak up on it by tilting your control stick. Oh, that's not... that's not great. Yeah, if, if this doesn't get in, then he's going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go. You don't want to be asleep for Pooch. I don't know what to do there. Yeah. Just... <laughs> Alright, Slack Off. That's one of them. Uh, we're not actually going to use a Slack Off, but it has a purpose. And we'll soon see. This is true. And the other one is Silcoon. Silcoon evolves into Beautifly. Will be a fine poke to use. Is this Cascoon? I don't actually know. <laughs> oh, it's so far down. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have to pass a spinner too. This is just a mess. You could. Take the tower, right? Yeah, like that. That the spinner can't see you from that. I think it's silken. I hope so, at least. Okay, cool. Oh, it's Cascoon. Okay, never mind. Oh man, <laughs> Cascoon used to be spiky. They, they made it not spiky anymore. Like, come yeah. on, game. What happened? Cascoon is like just purple now. That's the only like differentiation that I can really token. Let's go up here. That's slack off, we don't want that. Uh, let's just run away. Yeah, we can just... Yeah. That's another way you can reset the things if you get far enough away. Then it just... Oh my goodness, oh, okay. It's... Let's let's just, yeah, let's just do that. We have to do the fight now. <laughs> so yeah, um, slack off and then Silcoon and Cascoon are like the three rarest pokes you can get in oh XNAV. And so as a result, they're the three most common things you can get. Um, sorry, they're the most rare in, like, the grass, normally, so they're the most common in Dex Nav. It's kind of just how it works. Pretty hilarious that the grunt ran through the Pokemon. <laughs> 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 or walked through it. He should have gone VV Hunter. Or... Actually, no. It's... Walking is still too fast. Yeah, this fight can go pretty south. Um, but Tackle's Iron one's good. Tackle's great, yeah. Yeah, looking like a good fight. Okay, just gotta hit one time and we're good. Okay, perfect. Four turns. All you can ask. That skill is insane. Gen 6 smashing. um... Oh, I, I speak for, for myself here when I say that. Um, the way that I do it, since... A and L are set to like be the same button exactly. Like if you hold one, then like mashing the other one won't do anything. I just um I just hold L and then mash touch screen and B at the same time. But above you want to explain how you do your mashing because yeah, it's pretty much style. it's pretty much the same. You either you're pretty much always holding B and then you're mashing either A or L. Um, I have mine on my desk and I hold B and mash A. And with my uh, with my left screen, then mash touch screen with my right hand. Another slack off. We still need a silcoon before we leave. The tailo. That's not quite gonna do it. Probably can make that work, but. Not today. Not right now. If anything is willing to show up, that'd be great. <laughs> okay. That's high well, level slack off. Yeah, I, I can't. I don't have your audio on, so I don't know when you have a 
A cast coon. Or so coon, rather. Hello. Okay. You can get a little troll here, because there's this spinner that we have to avoid. Well, we don't have to. We can actually fight him, even. Yeah. And it would be no big deal. You can skip Ideally, that's later. not going to happen, though. Ideally. Yeah. That's surely Cascoon. I'm like almost positive. Yeah, search level one. Yeah, no. Yeah, search level is an indicator of how many times that you've um, had that Pokemon appear. Yeah, there's l it's the amount of times you've encountered the Pokemon. That is just okay. <laughs> Do it again, I dare you. Yeah, and it seems to be like to make a Pokemon appear, then you have to walk a couple tiles. Run in our case. That's so many Talos. Yeah, as you can see, this is like way faster than just like grinding for a wild encounter. Yeah, like each of these, like picture all these were an encounter. Not only is the encounter rate here like higher for the ones I want, but like the ability to reset them is a lot faster than going into the encounter and then running away. We're just getting a little bit unlucky here. <laughs> eventually. Eventually. That's just so many slack offs. That's a Ziggy. Didn't need audio to tell that. <laughs> yeah, some of them have like little shadow animations or whatever. It's like, uh... Also, this NPC can be a little bit troll. Sometimes he's just in the way, <laughs> wherever you're going. Shroomish is very unlikely to be a dex nav because it's one of the more common encounters. Same as Zigzagoon. So seeing it should not be likely. My happiness on my mudkip's gotta be insane. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's really Cascoon. It's above you. I saw that up That was a Cascoon, though. Oh, do you, okay. I see what you did. You, uh... Is it like you can go a certain distance far away from it and then it despawns? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's a, better, that's a better option to, right there, because you have to pass that spinner and take grass. Crazy. Just need one of them cocoons. I guess also you want to mention like your the state of your circle pad right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like cracked in half. This is not really helping. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so I want it like, yeah, it's it, there's just a, a rift in it now, so. Not ideal. Hey, remember that Silcoon I like ran into like five minutes ago? Yeah. Seemed like that was the only Silcoon in existence. I scared the entire population away with that one. <laughs> Make sure my finger's in the middle of the crease.
Uh, is there a big difference in using the circle pad versus the, the D-pad when moving? Oh, we finally did it. Nope, 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 it's Cascoon. Oh my god, man. <laughs> the trolls. Yeah, I just saw you approach one and thought that was it. Anyway, um... I guess Wormble. Like... Oh, we can't do that. Oh, it's level 15. Maybe I should have. Oh. Know. Well, but it, it could have been. I don't know. You have to level it up twice in that case. And yeah. from 15, that's kind of hard to do. Um, yeah. So, yeah, one of the rare cases that can happen is that the spawn from the deck sub is uh, just like 10 levels higher than um, what normally spawns. Uh, normally, you have to, like, catch five Pokemon in a row. Not catch. Um, encounter or catch five of the same Pokemon in a row. Um, and then, after that, you have the chain of five. And then it'll be guaranteed to have um, a ten-level bonus. And also one guaranteed perfect IV. And then, potentially, even an egg move. That's so cool. Oh, my God. Finally. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, but sometimes it can just happen without a chain. Um, so yeah, Silicon! Yippee! <laughs> you won this prediction. It's a no. Oh. Yeah, 50 50. Whoa, so we got to bed beforehand. That's cheating. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no way, was it? I, I guess splendid? the prediction was I guess the prediction was does he catch it before 30 minutes? Early. Okay. It's in. Let's go. Alright. I'm gonna have to end this prediction. How do I do that? I think it's- I only can do it. Did you make it? From slash prediction? I didn't make it. Uh, yeah. somebody else made it. I think Tahis. Oh, so it's I already move... claimed. So I want to move Silicon to slot 2. There's a mandatory double fight that I'm just gonna eat. Considering I have two pokes, I need to go to deposit one or kill both or something. It's just worth it to just take the fight. The experience is beneficial anyways. E.T. And so, since we're going to be trading the slack off away, um, it doesn't need any experience at all. Because how the trades work in... I don't know if it works in Gen 5, but... At least Gen 6 Plus, is that... Um, the level of the traded Pokémon that you receive is always the same. Unlike previous Gens, where it's... Um, like, it'll be the same level as the one you traded. You mentioned that you were gonna fight the double, and it still caught me by surprise. <laughs> like <laughs> when I saw it, man. <laughs> Got to take my mind out of any percent mode because that's all I've run. I think this only has hard actually, so not exactly gonna be the biggest help. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. He's there in spirit. Do be kind of chill though. I totally can like switch out and actually have slack off do damage. Yeah, the way that experience works in Gen 6 is that if a Pokemon participates in battle, then it gains uh, full EXP. This is different compared to the generations previous where the EXP is distributed evenly between all participants in battle. Really? Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna chill on C dot here because he's currently biting. Don't wanna damage him while that's happening. Cool thing about Truant is you you can still heal through it.
Oh, never mind. It's bullshit. Did Slokov gain any XP, or did it gain like exactly one level? Am I tripping? It did gain exactly one level. Wow. <laughs> That EXP bar was looking mighty empty after killing folk. Alright, level 7. Well, it doesn't evolve here, but level 10. This one evolves. Oh, yeah, also, if you caught a Wurmple, then you might not even know if it evolves into a Silcoon. Yes, yes. That's that is the case. But... And then on DVs, which are very cool to deal with. Essentially makes it random which one you get. Yeah. So we're gonna go get Makuhita here. It's like really the only useful in-game trade in the entire game. We're gonna talk to him from behind because we're very smart. Um, Have fun with that modest slack off, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Makuhita's um, attack is always perfect. Always has 31 IV plus nature. Um, and it starts with arm thrust and it's holding an X attack. So we're actually going to use that X attack in the fight. Um, this fight's pretty consistent. It's pretty hard to die. Just have to make sure to... I will save anyways, just because why not? Housekeeping things. I can't, so we actually can't give Makuhita any experience here because if it goes above level 10 before we beat Roxanne, it's gonna disobey. So anything. Like, if it, like, any of these pokes will give it a full level because it boosts the experience and fluctuating, so it gains experience very quickly right now. So you kind of just have to go straight to the gym leader, which is fast, so... Yep. Normally, you would fight uh, the last trainer that was in this gym with Mudkip in any percent, but um, we did fight the double, so I'm assuming that makes up for that EXP. When we get to... Hey, thank you. So I focus energy because after each focus energy, or after focus energy, you're 50 50 to crit. That's not great, so we're putting in the heal range, but that's fine. Yeah, it's just kind of kind of roulette here how many crits you actually end up getting. Uh, so I think I'll run Pokemon Sleep as a bonus run after my <laughs> HSS race is done. Thank you. I'm hype. So yeah, think about this fight. Um, now that uh, I'm slower than Geodude, and I'm no passes even faster than Geodude, I won't see Rock Team again, even if it's gonna kill me. Will always be Tackle or Harden. Yeah, so Nose Pass can't heal anymore since Roxanne already used her potion. So we're free to just put it into heal range. Not that we really had any choice anyways, but... Okay, nice. So that is Roxanne down. One of our 13. 
if he for knock it. Yeah, the 13 fights are only gym leaders plus E4 plus champ. Um, in some other games, it's basically whoever first does the, the baton pass run, like, kind of gets to choose, like, which trainers are, um, major fights. Like, sometimes you get, like, the evil boss, or maybe multiple evil boss fights, but sticking with the, the main government trainers here. I'll try and give Silkoon some extra experience in some of these other fights, in hopes that maybe we can not have to do Hideki with, with Mudkip. We're going to be finding one extra trainer out here, on top of what you would do any, any percent. Because Mudkip... He's currently over the level that we would be in any percent, but it's gonna drop off. So it's just a Meryl, we're, it, it gives pretty solid experience, so we're just gonna echo voice at times three. Not really any sort of danger. Yeah, Echo Voice, a move that gains 40 base power every time you use it in succession, up to um, 4 boosts. Or, yeah, 4 boosts. 4 boosts up to max 200 power. Yeah. Um, it's quite the move to get so early on, because it really stacks up high. Uh, just makes Pokemon that have Echo Voice that much better in this game. That have, you know, decent special attack. Yeah, there's only a, sub a, a certain subset of Pokemon that get stabbed when Echoed Voice. There's probably a good reason for that because it's really, really powerful. Um, Zigzagoon is actually one of them and it, and it actually makes it, like, usable for a run because Echoed Voice is just that good. It's just, it's incredibly powerful. We're almost at 10. Uh, not sure if we get it before. Little bro. Hopefully, though. This Geodude has sturdy, so we mud slap it first to. Uh... Break it without triggering the sturdy text. Rock Tomb to Mudkip because we're going to need it for some of the fights later. Okay, didn't mean to do that. It's all good. Makovita's full HP. Very important. Yeah, unfortunately, it's just going to sit in our party for a little bit. It's not all that slow. Um. We're going to deposit it along with Beautiful Eye after we're done with Brawly. Just going to keep doing this, huh? <laughs> the Rock Team here to help with the 3 at KO. My special attack's not amazing. That's a very good roll. This probably will not kill, but it has a chance. And it did. Wow. Oh. That is like almost always a three turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four turn. But level ten, holy moly! That was way faster than I thought. We got there. I 
I think I'm still going to lead Mudkip um, for Hideki, just so it gets the full experience anyways. But I think from here we're free to switch Beautifly to the back. Beautifly is going to have no trouble in Hideki because it four times resists slow sweep. Yeah, I got Beautifly three fights earlier than you're supposed to. <laughs> Why Very is that, cool. by the way? Why do we have that three HP? Is it just from so I led, I led Silcoon in like a million fights. Was that just a... You don't normally do that. Yeah. Is there a reason why you did it this time? Because I didn't want to fight Hideki. With this... Fair enough. Mudkip. <laughs> the win rate with Mudkip is very low on this specific one. Bad special attack, bad defense, HP. It's like not at all a bad option. I respect it. Dang, the preview on Joanna's stream is a uh, Azumaru. Wonder who that's for. That's for. Yeah. Dang. Wonder if it's waving. Wow, it's waving. Holy moly. <laughs> I was actually considering um, Tahis. I was considering routing uh, Kadabra for one of the fights, just because teleport is very good with my current route. But unfortunately, the fight I was doing it for just wasn't good enough, and getting a Manipulus Abra is not fun. So since we're not doing Hideki here, there's no need for super potions or anything. Plus, we actually we value the money from from the shop, so we're not gonna not gonna do it. I can imagine the the money route in this is tight. It's actually not like that bad, but yeah, it is it is tighter than normal. There's there's a plethora of. Um, Money items. Money items in the early game, so you have the, the ability to get what you need. Yeah, it's not so much a problem with, like, tightness of money, it's more like, what should we pick up to account for everything? Exactly. Hopefully it has been carefully routed. Can I remember to go back to the area now? Well, actually... I, I think I do fly before I dex nav next, but... I think it is close. Kinda crazy to think about. <laughs> you don't dex nav until... ...that much later. Yeah. Yeah, there's not gonna be another main for a little a little while. At least Actually that's not true. That's not true. I think Sand's true. We may be deck snapping. It's super repel for Granite Cave later, Silk Scarf for Brawly's Gym, Equid Voice, helpful. I'm going to use the opportunity to switch you to the front.
So unlike Metronome, which we are going to get also in this round later, um, Echo Voice is still boosted whether you successfully get the move off or not, as long as it's used every turn in succession. So any of these detects or endures, they still boost Echo Voice, which is actually really clutch in this gym. It'd be a lot slower without that. One of the silly little gimmicks about that meta type having Detect and Endure as well is that um, they share the same counter for determining if the if consecutive Detects or Endures will fail. Which is a little nice. Yeah, really, yeah. So you get failures a lot more often than you maybe would otherwise. I did four damage. <laughs> Maybe it'll do seven damage this time. Ooh. Five. Oh, that was a nice high roll. Movement. Yeah, luckily nothing in the gym has like a rock move. Yeah, pretty um, much it's I think the only well the meta types have confusion. Yeah, and um, Brawly has seismic toss. And, and then uh Brawly's Makuhita has knockoff, knock which is like well. a yeah. big coverage move for that fight. And even still, it only really uses it if you're holding an item, so you can kind of just cheese it. So I'm actually not going to swap um, Beautify to the front because I want Similar to how I've been doing for Silcoon, I want uh, Mudkip to get the experience. And also, Mudkip's the poke we're going to be using for the whole run, so like having it in slot 1 is good anyways. Pretty much, like, Mudkip is still like the main poke for... Yeah. For um, you know, where you normally use the mudkip section. Yeah, basically, I instead of going until Norman, you're using Marsh Top until um, the end of Mount Chimney, and then from there you're you're pivoting to other things. Good roll. Especially in Omega Ruby, it's very important to have um, level 15 for a museum because um, There's a range on the Nummel that becomes way worse if you're not, and then also like Zubat and stuff. It's just not great. You, you want to be at, at the very least, a similar threshold. Argu arguably more important is the um, is having March Top after that section, so that you can fight the Plusle and Mine in as a ground type. That is very important. Yeah, that's for sure. Like, there's a lot of, like, compounded benefits to getting extra EXP on Mudkip. Like, 13 for a deck 15 for Museum, 16 for, uh, the, the mice. So, it's all worth it. <laughs> nice, <Yeah>. adamant. <laughs> 
Very nice. Yeah, sometimes you just like have no frame of reference for these baton pass runs. That like it's kind of crazy then that I was able notice. to two shot. It's kind of crazy that I was able to two shot that Makuhita because that is a range to two shot. So protein money item. Just getting this for extra safety. Make sure I can afford everything in my money routes. The opportunity to switch back to the area nav. The fastest way to fly in this game involves clicking the bottom screen when the area nav is out. And it opens a map very quickly. Very nice to have. I guess a little bit worth mentioning is that uh, all the stuff that I, I just did, you, you, you may consider skipping um, Brawly in some routes if you had the chance, but we don't. You're forced to do Brawly early in this game, unlike the Gen 3 games. Steven, Steven's room here is completely blocked if you don't. Can you even do Steven before Brawly? Nope. Oh, right. yeah. nope. Nope, nope, nope. A lot more linear this game than than past ones. So, getting the soft sand here, there's now a lot of pokes in this route that use the soft sand, but even if there wasn't, Marsh Tomp is enough to justify getting it. Boosts Bulldoze's power by a very large amount. 20%. And then we're going to get the PP up, both that and the protein both sell for 4,900 each. So it's a lot of extra money to work with. We're gonna get a TM in the the market a little bit later when we have a little bit more money to spend. But for now we're just chilling. So yeah, uh, if we were playing Alpha Sapphire right now, this would be a very scary section. Not only do the numbers die a lot easier, even if this one survived, which it very well could. Um, it just doesn't really do anything usually, so... Not really a threat. Yeah, much better than the alternative, which is Carvana in Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, and even this Zubat here, better in Omega Ruby, because it's not um, impish nature. It's actually minus speed nature in this game. 
So most kips, most kips are going to outspeed it. Yeah, so we're going to... It's 15 and 16 range and we outspeed it, so it should be pretty good. Yeah, okay, cool. We're actually looking pretty good on experience. I don't... I think for a little while we're probably going to be on the same level as any percents experience curve, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, does that include... 18 for Goro? Yeah, probably. Very nice. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely an incentive to hit 16 off that Zubat so that you can get the boosted experience from the Numble that comes afterwards. And that's because if you get any experience while your Pokemon is like at an evolution level, uh, it gives like a 1.2x multiplier. And that was introduced in this generation. So pretty nice. To be fair, black is better for speedruns. Black one. It is true, but it is it's pretty it's pretty close. It's actually like ten seconds, I think, which is pretty huge for top level. But I digress. In my mind, I was comparing it to the difference between Black 2 and White 2, which is much worse than 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Black 2, you mean challenge mode key? It's the only purpose it serves. <laughs> All right, um, not much else to do here besides shop. Gonna buy a Maybe. lot of X items. Not actually that much, because a lot of my pokes are gonna end up using setup moves, but some. Very lucky that this place sells X items pretty early in the game and also there's enough money items to get. Other games we would not be so fortunate. Could have bought a little bit more, but pretty comfortable amount of money. I'd say. Oh, are we getting a picture? Yeah, in this game you want to be leaving that mart with... Not for everything, but for the any percent route. And in this category, in this case. You want to be leaving this mart with at least uh, 8240, um, so that you can afford bulldoze when you get there in Mauville. And that, not necessarily just bulldoze, any alt main, there's a bunch of different TMs there you can buy for 10,000 each. If you're getting any of those, you want to be leaving with at least 8240 specifically. I think there's like Aerial Ace, Power Up Punch. Aerial Ace, Power Up Punch, Low Sweep, Charge Beam, Venoshock, any of those, they're all pretty powerful. But I mean, typically, typically you're going for bulldoze or or power up punch. Just really good for this point in the game. So yeah, so because we're Marsh Tomp, um, plus one mine in here just will not be able to damage us. Only thing they can do is switch their berries around, and that's about it. They can force you to use Mudshot over and over again, which is what you're doing anyways. So 
the range. Unlucky. I bought an effect specials, I'm, I'm realizing now. I think I did. Oh yeah, definitely 18. For Grovile. I will save anyways, though. This fight can kind of be a doozy sometimes. I disagree, personally. Okay. Yeah, saves don't take too long at all in this game, like, a second. I think I definitely should be fine using all my specs here that I need to. Yeah, the scary thing on this fight is if um, Slugma picks Ember, which is random, 1 in 4, and also burns with Ember, so 2.5% on a given turn. Uh, it's not, like, deadly, but it does make it so that you have to heal. At least like yeah, it's time. a lot more savable when you have super potions, and also if you get burned later in the fight, it's a lot easier to save. But since we're one-shotting Grovile, there's not really any stress here. I just have to have enough to tank quick attack, and we're okay. Just use a three-stack Echo Voice to one-shot. And it's also the main reason why we pick the girl, because Brendan's Groval here always has a minus spectral defense nature. So it's a much better range to kill. next split is going to be entirely vanilla. Everything that we do in the any percent split we're going to be doing here. I guess except I'm going to pick up this revive just because baton pass alt main marathon. You get it. Even no metronome? On this Metronome's going to come afterwards. Going to get it on the next split. Gotcha. Yeah, Metronome is by far the best item in the game for for anything, really. Um, there aren't a lot to pick from, generally, but getting the Metronome, which is uh, a 20% boost in power every single time you use it in a row, and getting it this early is, like, really insane. So it, it pretty much benefits every single mon we're going to be using here. Um... Just like an incredible power bump. But we're not going to get it quite yet. So, yeah, as you might have figured out by now, we're going to be using Marsh Top for Watson. Um,. Ground types are kind of a a luxury at this point in the game. There's a couple that you could have gotten. Geodude's a rare encounter in Granite Cave. You can get some things that resist electric type moves, but not immune to them. 
I should not turn that off. That'd be bad. Um, but there aren't too many ground tapes, so um, March time just kind of fits fits the bill pretty well. I should definitely take that. It's not even in my notes. I just kind of did it. So yeah, um, luckily, I mean, I mentioned this before, pretty much the worst is out of the way with the, um, with the defense. So from here, the Smarch Tomp kind of has everything going for it that it needs to have going for it. Um, Norman would have been a disaster, the Zangus before it would have been a disaster. We don't have to deal with that, so. Yeah, um, there isn't really any, like, good checks for a ground type in this gym. Like, most most pokes just, they just don't have, like, it's, maybe it's, sometimes it'll be, like, a weak normal move or something that they can use. You just, like, won't ever take more than, like, 10 damage in this entire gym. Yeah, the only threat, really, is, like, a supersonic, but... We're able to play around that pretty easily. Yeah. With using the next speed on the Pokemon prior. A couple of these pokes have quick attack, which loses a couple seconds. Absolutely no threat at all. We don't even have to worry about the HP we lose anyways, because literally right after this fight we're gonna get a free heal when we go up towards Route Yeah, like Tucker said, um, we could just sweep this fight. All, I mean, the first um, Magnemite on Watson does have Sturdy, so we're gonna we do give it one one extra turn while we break it Sturdy and then kill it afterwards. But in this case, we're actually gonna give it two extra turns because we're gonna X speed, um, so we don't have to get Magneton a turn because it has Supersonic and things can happen. Again, it's not particularly likely you're going to die if you skip that X speed. Um, but it's a lot more consistent of a fight and just a lot cleaner. So, I mean, when you when you benefit from using the X speed, you pretty much will always do it unless you really need the time save.
some po some some march tomps um just are not even fast enough to outspeed even with the x speed so in that case you would skip it but Okay, so now we're gonna get the uh, the metronome. Unfortunately, it's like kind of a detour. Otherwise, you probably would be getting it at any percent if it was a bit closer. It's not that bad. It's like it's like 25, 30 seconds, but definitely gonna be worth it over the course of the run. I guess while we're going have some downtime, we can talk about like some of the technicalities of what what it means to like use a Pokemon sure. um, in a sure, gym sure. fight. Um, basically, like if you select a move, then that disqualifies the Pokemon um, from further major fights, and as well as you know, th this one's a bit more of a gray area, but like abilities that have an effect, like say Intimidate. Um, those, like, directly change the battle, then we tend to avoid those. Um, we tend to just treat them as, like, usages. Like, we don't want to have, like, like, unintentional effects of other Pokémon besides the main. What you can do is use multiple mains. That's also allowed. Yes. Um, this is actually one of the Pokémon that we are looking for. This Rock yeah. Smash here, dude. <laughs> Uh, level 13. It probably won't die. Yeah, okay. Level 13 is fine. Um... Yeah, so I actually was kind of plan on, even if I didn't get an encounter there, which... If you don't want an encounter at any percent, I would have stalled for one here. It is one of the pokes we're gonna need. Very nice. Nice and easy catch. Rock Smash, uh, there's three different results that can result from smashing a rock. You can get an encounter, you can get an item, or nice. you can get, wow, you can get a nothing. You really have to be on that specific column right there, and that guy was not trying to let a bug go through. Um, I will say there's like a pretty applicable case of what Tucker was talking about earlier. Um, Tate and Liza. One of the fights that we're going to be doing requires two Pokemon. And um, if you plan to like actually fight that as a double battle, use both your pokes, you need two separate pokes. Um, but since we're not actually like doing anything with our second poke, it doesn't actually qualify as like, so you, so you can just use the one poke and use it to set up the other one. And it only counts as one. Yeah. Has you know, obviously with the Tontas, some pokes may struggle and they might die, so you're forced to send in a, a different poke, so like one of these like the example of a poke like being sent out but not being used is you know, just to revive a poke or like use any sort of item. Um, as like the other poke is you know, not in the fight. So in like a double battle per se, uh we can use the ally's turn to use an X-Item on the partner poke, which is going to be relevant later. And hopefully the 
revive example does not come true. Does that mean something went wrong? Uh, this fight right here, it's it's got a small chance of being bad, but we so one already thing, avoided it. One thing I am going to do here is I'm going to X attack here, and you'll see why potentially in a second. Um, so one of the things that happens when you have an extra poke is certain mons will have different moves that they may select. Um, for example, this Makuhita has Whirlwind, it may sometimes choose to use it. It didn't in this case. But I did it just in case. Normally you would set up an X attack on that Makuhita, and it would go for Fake Out. Yeah, good shout. Um, normally so, in any percent you'd like only see Fake Out. Some In the unlucky case, like sometimes you might see like Force Palm or Knock Off. But uh, since he has an extra poke, it's likely to go for a Whirlwind. Um, yeah, so in addition, um, they, we're going to fight an Aeron later that has Roar. I'm just going to suck that one up, just because um, there's no real great place to deposit or do anything about it. You just kind of have to take the bait. The plan, I think the plan is if I get Roared there, I'm just going to attack once and then finish it off with my, with my Geodude. Um, obviously there's no rules about anything on regular trainers. Splitting the experience would actually be kind of nice. Just give some more to Geodrid if it needs it. Um, and then also, um, on Maxi 1 on Mount Chimney, the Mighty Anna has Roar. And that you can't really do anything about. You kind of have to just deposit it because you're doing a lot of setup on that fight and you really do not want to get Roared while you're doing that. And then after that, it kind of dies down for a little bit in terms of those switching out move. Yeah, the any percent is just completely oblivious to any of these phasing moves. Yep. And that's especially true because Marshtaunt, by the end of the run, has four HM moves, so you don't really need to catch um, HM users. To progress in the game, like they're just kind of mm -hmm. gifted to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just kind of get everything you need. So this trap is the worst range in the game. You almost never expect to get it. It's very unlikely. And now that I said that, I got it. Yeah. For <laughs> psychology, you've been baited. Absolutely smashed. Yeah, so even with max attack, that is still a range. So it's just, you never expect to get it, really. Get some nuggets. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I just don't think that's true. <laughs> yeah. All right, and pickups are a little wonky. One of the downsides of going away from a tile based. Yeah, definitely. It is again. That was my fault. Not gonna blame the game on that one. Although I, I literally have like just talked to the tile from the right, it wouldn't work, and then I go to the left side, and then it would work. Like it just. <laughs> I, I feel like I, I'm always in disagreement with that one. Probably gonna be Roar. Yeah. This is what it is. Dang. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Well. So 
It's all good. We're chilling. Confirmed does not have sturdy. <laughs> it's true. That's not great. <laughs> That's not the way you want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that Aeron's powerful. I'm surprised that killed. A couple of the trainers just have, like, bust and booze, like, this Aeron, and then, like, the gym trainer, mm -hmm. Nummel. Yep, yep. Earth power and overheat. <laughs> like, yep. What's going on here? Okay, shouldn't have got that one, so it evened out. Close. Yeah, that hiker has, like, if, if he's like one tile above. Oh, this mighty Anna totally has roar too. Hopefully that won't be an issue. <laughs> well, you yeah. think you you think if he had it and like wanted to use it, he'd use it on Brendan sometimes, right? Because he has more than one poke. Yeah, but so do you. I well, think in this case, yeah. It can go either way. In this case, yeah. But, like, I mean, I mean, at 80%. Yeah, I, you're right about that. Swagger is good. Swagger on Slugmon, yep. Yeah. Swagger is certainly better than Snarl. Snarl's not very good on this fight in Omega Ruby. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. This is a range to kill. It's going to be a really bad one, but we have Grovile's help. Hopefully well, it just dies. Okay, well. Yeah. You know, good try, I guess. Very good try. So we're going to deposit Geodude, like I mentioned before. We don't want Geodude in the party. Um, for Maxi. I'm going to use the opportunity to PC heal. Because I'm down some HP. Um, typically in most any percents today, you're going to see... I'm going to get brought back to Fall Arbor, and then Brendan's going to give me an option whether I want to go back to Mauville or stay in Fall Arbor. Most of the time in any percent you'll see people um, go to Mauville because um, movement's easier, it's faster if you don't get an encounter from Rock Smash. Um, yeah. But because we need some Pokeballs and the Fall Arbor Mart sells Quick Balls, Dusk Balls, um, some other useful balls that we're not going to actually get, um, we we're gonna say no, and then go up to Mount Chimney backwards. Now we're going to sell the nuggets and the comet shard.
Sen alıyorum. This, unfortunately, this is the only center in the game that has someone standing in front of it and gives you a cutscene to do it. Um, but it's just by far the most opportune place to make this happen. Could be worse. Definitely was not Could that Could be slow. the bill cutscene in Gold Soul Silver in Ekritik City. So true. Hopefully I don't hit any optionals on the way back here. That'd be not great. Ledge tech. Here we go. It would not make me smile. Oh, ledge tech. Yes, you're so right. That's so easy. Holy moly. Yeah. Seems like I reminded you in time. <laughs> yep. Oh, so. Here you just hold right, easy movement. Very nice. Yeah, and that's like not much slower than uh, saying yes to Brendan. If you do do that, then you have a little cutscene in Marvel, and uh, you could shop there. It's uh, that kind of cancels each other out, but you have to rock smash again, so you had another chance to get an encounter. This time it would be unwanted, but um. Yeah, we had stuff to do in Full Arbor, so. Not doing that. Yeah, so one of the downsides of playing on Omega Ruby is this section here. All the coughings obviously have levitate, so we're not going to be able to bulldoze them like we would a Grimer. And they all have smoke screen, and it's pretty annoying. Okay, that wasn't so bad though. The second coughing here on Tabitha learns self destruct over a smoke screen. So we're actually going to be whittling it down. The lower HP it gets, the more likely it is to use self-destruct. So we're hoping so that um, it uses self-destruct quickly enough. And that we're out of range to die when it does. Have you ever killed this coughing before it's gone? I have killed this coughing, yeah. Wow. I have not. It's not particularly likely. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so. Next is Maxi. Maybe a save here is warranted. I do think so, yes. Some things can go awry. Glad we're on the same page. Um, it is a lot nicer with Rock Tomb, this fight. We don't actually... I have gotten the glitch. I do need... Person Berries. Um... Yeah, on any percent, you don't actually have Rock Tomb, typically. Um, you're teaching over it for, uh, or you don't actually teach it, typically, for any percent attempts. So you're relying on two Swaggers in that case. We don't actually necessarily need two Swaggers now. Um, it helps a lot. Um, we can kill the Mighty Anna a bit quicker. 
but we don't actually need it. We do need one though, we do not have the X item to set up for more than one swagger. Oh, no Sparex attack. I mean, I have, I mean, using one is part of the fight. So we do have that, but... No spare Sparex attack. Yeah. Got double double. There we go. So we're at plus four. Plus four. This Mighty Ana has a range. At plus four. We do get it. Nice. Nice. She can get trapped and she can definitely get that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we can strength gold that now. No chance of missing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, fight's free. I wish I took a little bit more damage, honestly. Um, because part of the uh, the Flannery fight that's coming up next is um, because because I know I I know I don't have Sturdy on Geodude. I'm gonna be uh, switching out. Um, and having Slugma overheat. But I, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world to have it overheat twice, if that's necessary. That's, that's pretty good. Should never be rock throwing anything I have. Take a quick pit stop here. I'm not sure where exactly I'm going, but... Not there yet, okay. Good to know. Here we are. This is rock polish. It, it uh, increases... Um, when you use it, it increases the, the speed stat by two. So it's actually really nice for pokes that can learn it. Typically the pokes that can learn it are like skewed in, in favor of like slower mons. Um, like Geodude, for example. Um, but not Sandshrew. But not Sandshrew. Um, <laughs> so it really benefits them to have the, uh, the speed there. Naughty. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, yeah. It's, maybe it's a good thing that you're taking two overheats on Marsh. Yeah. It's a double-edged sword. Naughty is. Probably more hurt than good, because honestly, yeah, I don't see much reason to not, like, X attack. Can't save that. Uh... Alright, so, get our boy in here.
I'm gonna save. This is probably one of the wor uh, the worst fights in the in the run here. Because there's a wee bit of cringe that can happen. It may just see the kill with overheat here, which is honestly good if it does. Avoid sun coming up immediately. So we know our dude doesn't have sturdy, so we're not going to be able to tank a hit. Yeah, this is great. We might actually get three off. Um, gonna stall turns until I die. What does it use after it's um out of overheat? Uh, rock throw. That's not gonna do anything. It's not a very powerful move. It only has five, right? Or ten? Yep. Got five. Probably gonna be using Rock there pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Sun's already gone. Not actually all that much need to spadef twice here, like I had planned to. Right. Yeah, not going to be doing that much. Don't do it. <laughs> oh. That's so cringe. Yeah, so now you just die. That Numble survives and then it kills you. So yeah, you have to dodge two ticks of Flame Body. And because you kind of really need the Metronome. Can't really afford to give it up. It's a coin flip, coin flip to get burned or not here. I love hitting two thunders. So true. My favorite forty nine percent activity. Hopefully we get there this time. That is all of its overheats. There's only so many things I can do now. I almost want to just set up more and just like magnitude this or something. 
think that would work. Please, one more, one more, one more. Easy. Nice. Alright, let's go. Yeah, the fastest thing on this fight is 23 speed, so one rock polish is enough on pretty much all Geodudes. Rollout is just ridiculously strong. Yeah. 240 base power the in the fourth one. The fact that you can even think about doing this fight at level 16 is just incredible. So this is the first time I'm ever going to do this. I've never not said yes to this per to, to Brendan here. But we're going to say no, actually. Because we're going to go get our next poke in a spot that very much benefits from saying no here. And three, solidarity. Doing so true. Movement to uh, Paddleberg. Actually should be repelling here. Maybe just one. Do not want to get encounter. Oh, oh my god. Oh. What in the heck? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. I got the go goggles. Go get this candy. Cool kids call it desert candy. Pressure of dying to poison or anything like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that worked on a lot of levels. Okay, cool. As long as it's not level 20, it's level 20. Of course it is. Sentry's probably like a level faster than Judo Town. Might not be able to. Yeah. Win. Yeah. We could maybe kill you? Probably. Hmm. But it is guaranteed to get in a quick ball, so. Uh, okay, well, this is just like. Don't die, okay. Yeah, I'm worried that you'll find a 20 that doesn't let you run. Yeah. That's why we'll do that. Yeah, so Sandshrew is a a uh, a forty percent encounter, and it is okay. That's okay. We'll just do that. Um, Many reasons to save. Okay. It's levels twenty to twenty four, and um, we're looking for a Sandshrew that can evolve with one candy, aka the one we just we just picked up. Um, so literally any other level is what we're looking for here. Didn't expect to see Ball Toy in this speedrun, but you were wrong. Will there ever be an encounter? <laughs> wow. This is so real. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where is the S of my F?
Wow. 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 This is like so insane. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What? It's going. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Game? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> is this, is this real life? <laughs> Did I break the game? There's an encounter. Unbelievable. <laughs> Level 24 for your troubles. There we go. 22. We'll take it. There we are. I guess I'll just do this menu now, because I'm I'm now paranoid of Actually no, yeah, I'm supposed to anyways. Have a have a good park in my a good poke in my party now. Give Sentry to slot two. Get ourselves a sand slash. Yeah, Sand Slash is just a good build for Pokemon. Like, it's used in a lot of Baton Passes. Really nice to have. Teach a Sword Stance. I think I saw Minus Speed. That's not fantastic. Yep. It's quite... Wonderful. Yeah, 56, 56. Attack and 34 attack. speed. Uh, did I edit the wrong notes or something? First of all, let's take this. Oh no, I just wrote it in blue for some reason. Instead of red. So we're going to be... Uh, I need a repel. That's important. So now I get to do this movement backwards. I will definitely not mess up, ever. Oh god. Really good try. The rest of it I can do pretty comfortably backwards, so that's, that's something. I got an encounter, because of course you would. I thought we were done with these. I was wrong. Sorely Tell mistaken. That up. And I get to do this backwards. Where are you? You're there. Okay. And then I get to go to Slade Port. And potentially get bad things there. I have no idea where I'm going here. <laughs> I think there's like a spinner like right here. Um, you, you can like hug the bottom though. I think. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay. So he's not here.
Briny is not here. That throws a wrench in things. There's a major wrench in things. Eat. Trainer is no slouch, I believe. Yeah, it'll be fine. Sand slash will be fine. Oh, this is blocking. This is blocking a a surf path, so won't even help. It's hot. This for no reason. So where are you supposed to go then? It's really not there. It's really not there. I think you do Rust Surf Tunnel. I mean, you have to. That's yeah. like the only way. That sucks. I mean, I guess I can get the mob while late while I'm there. That's something. <laughs> I do need that later. My repel count's gonna be very sketchy now. I'm gonna have to be pretty stingy with them. Let's not do that. Enjoy Verdant Turf. Okay, that's enough enjoying Verdant Turf. Oh, you can dodge this trainer. I didn't think you could. This is ridiculous. I can't believe that. <laughs> yeah. Like, I actually just can't believe that. I wonder if that's why you can't do that in Gen 3. Or, or I, I at least know you do Rust Earth Tunnel in... Ruby Sapphire, but not an emerald. So, I don't know. They kept things consistent with Ruby Sapphire. No, but you should. They the boat should go away when you have access to surf. That's how that's supposed to work. Very odd. Ooh. Where are you? That was just... Wow, that was that was an experience, <laughs> to be sure. I've already lost three minutes to my Norman split. Nobody could have guessed that would happen. So evidently, I hadn't played this that before. <laughs> yeah, before, um, before this run, that Bob was like, you know, skimming through the route and basically like replaced three of the mains that we use. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure yeah. that this this sand slash main is not faster. But it's it's a lot safer for this gym. Yeah, the alternate option was um, Machop. Yeah. And Machop had problems dealing with Zangus. You want to pick mm -hmm. uh, Why am I saving for this? I don't know. I don't actually really need the XP share on at all right now. I won't need it on until after Winona.
That was a solid roll. Okay. Surprised I killed that with two, honestly. We'll turn it off in this menu, the XP share. So I'm barely faster than the Zangoose because I am a level higher, so thankfully, should be good. Minus speed, not gonna matter. See how this fight goes. Um, I will save just in case. Yawn, makes sense. Encore. Does Encore stall with the uh, item usage? Like, do you use Encore terms? Just yeah. ended. Fortunately, we're back. That means it also stalls with sleep turns. Like a turn early. Um. Oh well. That's fine. As long as we're out of the loop. Not all that big of a deal. Heal for the retaliate. Got Encore anyway. Should be good here. I do tank 140 retaliate from here, so I'm not worried. I think that's just out of heal range. Maybe it's not, but okay. Oh well, not a big deal. That is just out of heal range.
can always trust on Sandslash to take on a physical threat in Baton Pass. Mm hmm. So, we have one more fight to do with our our main, um, our main pool, I guess, before we get Latios, and Latios is gonna carry us for a little while. There's nothing we really have to do completely differently for a little while. Unfortunately, our Mudkip is dead, so we can't actually... I don't have any revives right now. We can't actually surf like we're supposed to with this. But Sand Slash does tank a move from Camerupt, and Uldo should do like a decent amount. So like hopefully we're fine, but... Hopefully we're okay here. Matang has like, unlike an Alpha Sapphire, Matang has Zen Headbutt to work on. Camera wrapped, so if we don't actually kill it, it may not necessarily be the end of the world. Coughing. All good.
Let's nickname it. Why not? What's it going to be? Yeah. Rip it up. What is Baton Pass? I'm so glad you asked. So, Baton Pass, we're, we're about halfway through at this point. Um, Baton Pass is a category where um, for each major battle in the run, so we have eight gym leaders, we have four Elite Four, and we have the champion. We have to use a completely different Pokemon um, to, to beat him. So that's it's 13 in total. Um, so you have to you have to catch thirteen. You you don't have to catch thirteen, but you have to have thirteen different pokes, and you have to come up with different strats to beat every single fight with that poke. So it's a very routing intensive um, run, and I haven't routed it very well. So yeah, that's that's where we are. All right, got a Latios here. It's going to be our pretty much our main for the foreseeable. Okay. Um, Not three great. Special, 71 speed. Neither of those are thermal oh. neutral. Nope. Maybe I can use that for something. <laughs> I have zero to three neutral special attack. Oh, okay. And I think my speed was neutral too, which means it's also like zero. That's like pretty cool. I don't know what I need. I don't think I need anything. Latios does pretty well on its own. Yeah, very well. It's no sweat to have. Very mediocre Latios, it'll still get the job done. Yeah. We have a 12 and 16 on this camera up coming up. It's an ideal. Yeah, Latios is going to be used for a future fight. We have another poke that we're going to we're going to get soon that's going to take on Monona. This one is quick feet, so we may actually get outsped here. Nope, okay. Our Latios is pretty slow, so I wouldn't have been surprised.
So one thing we are going to get that's a little bit different than any percent. We're going to go get a Leaf Stone before Rival 3. And that's going to be used a little bit later. On one of the Mons we haven't gotten yet. And that is down here. Let's see how well I can navigate to it. I think it actually... Uh, it's not quite here. It's close. Here it is. But since our special attack is bad enough, there's not really any use in using an X special here, so we will not do that. These stats are basically just like an average laddie ass. <laughs> Pretty much the same. Seventy sixty six. Yeah. Very cool. I am pretty concerned about my, my repel count, um, but we're going to worry about that later. Um, for now, we're going to set up our, our mod that we're going to use for Winona, which plot twist we already own. Yes. It's only one mod that has not been used. <laughs> well, two, actually, but it's not Ladia's, then it's got to be cast for him. Yeah. So cast form is like move set, or it's a uh, it's it's base stats are have a lot to be desired. Um, but its move set in this game gets a pretty giant upgrade. Um, at least its default move set from Gen three has three different weather conditions and weather ball, which is extraordinarily powerful. Um, and so we're gonna use uh, hail in order to uh do some damage.
And as Jim, you can kind of see the lenience that you have with spinners in this game. Once they spin, you have like a pretty big window to pass them. Unlike in like XY, for example, you kind of need to go fast. Uh, I'm not sure why I did that at all. Go into here. Drag these to each other. Uh, fly. Yeah, emulator is allowed. Um, it's just on a separate leaderboard. Yes. But they're, they're legal. Can't submit to speedrun.com. I did get grass now. Actually, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. If you want to run this, then it'll be on the same leaderboard because it's a category extension. Yeah, category extensions we're, we're a lot more lenient about. Um, 3DS emulator does save quite a bit of time over console, but we're just we're just a bit more lenient with category extensions. None of them are really all that competitive anyways, so... I'm gonna set up a bit on Swellow. Did you check your special on cast form? Nope. I'll do that in a second. 5650. I guaranteed my plus three. Really want to hit this first try. The turns can get a little bit wonky if if I don't kill this quickly. Likely would have to hail again. Okay, perfect. Very nice. useless level ups. And there's probably going to be more to come. We need the experience on Latios, so... It's gotta happen. You just call it Latios because it is acting like a Latios? I said Latios. Really? Okay. I cooked. That's a shame. You thought. <laughs> go. All right. Finally gonna get rid of all of the pokes in my party. Just a million things that I will not need.
Uh, in, 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 in. Yeah, anything. I do need more stomp. You need more stomp, actually. I don't think you I need a PC. PC heal. Well, I didn't even PC heal, yeah. Okay. All bases covered. All bases covered. So we're gonna catch another mod on the next route. My pal count's tight, so I'm gonna actually not. I think you can get the correct level on this top part of the route too. So we'll just we'll just skip the rappel entirely. No encounter yet. Zoomer Oh my god. <laughs> it probably is not the oh. 1% Zoomer That is level 30. But... Zoomer used to be in the route. Used to be Ooh. the mon for Drake, but. I think this story goes after a bad experience with that. Looking for it for like a very long time. Mm -hmm. and decide to scrap it. Because it also needs like huge power. Yep. It's not a great catch either. Not a great catch. Needs huge power. 1% encounter. For level 30. Yeah. So this is like not like the encounter. For P hits. Used in Platinum Baton Test, but not this one. Wow, good fact. Yep. Definitely is this route, right? Am I in 120? This might be 120. <laughs> really. Yeah. The levels are five, I think five lower on average here. So it's just not good. Yeah, yeah, it's this one. Is it here? Yeah, I think it's definitely here. Yeah, that's better. On the lower route, the one with the person berries. So. Yeah, it's definitely here. Here we are. Very cool. What's the level range for Gloom? I think 28 to 31. Okay, 30 is good. 30 is pretty solid, yeah. We're actually gonna leaf stone gloom now and the reason for that is the longer we leave gloom as gloom like while it levels up it's gonna learn moves meanwhile bioplume doesn't learn anything so we're gonna set up bioplume pretty much to the max right now basically it's basically just evolve and teach grass knot I already did that.
Since we got a high level gloom, we don't need the candy below. We'll get the one at top of Mount Pyre, which is a little bit faster. For different poke leader. Propel. So Marshmallow's gonna get a little bit big, but um, it's gonna die on Tate and Liza as part of the normal fight. So it's not gonna gain any more experience after that. Only getting one hit once there, that's pretty good. That was a pretty... That was not even close. Oh, I think I was supposed to be 33 there. And I wasn't. Ah. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> supposed to be a 12 and 16 range, but... Instead was something like... 1 in 16. Previous camera ups have had solid rock, this one doesn't, so it will always go down without a problem. That's good.
So we're gonna get Hun Claws here in the market. I mentioned this before, it's for a feature main. It's the easiest way to set up. You would just X attack if you also didn't benefit from the accuracy boost, so it just saves turns to do that. Hoping that my repel doesn't wear out before I buy more. Good. All right. Missed that range too. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, this that was a 12 and 16 range. There's a lot of different, I mean, most of these shouldn't even be ranges with Latios. That's like kind of the, the point. It's, it's special attack is 20 higher than Latias's. So while Latias has like pretty significant bad ranges like everywhere, Latios usually guarantees all of them, but this is effectively a Latias. Um, base stats have next to zero in special attack and speed. Spadef is guaranteed to be 31. Okay, now so it's just minus speed. Relaxed. Is this dusk? Uh, almost kind of looks like it. Looks like it, yeah. I feel like it just turned. Yep. So we're gonna be doing a lot of setup on, on this fight because my Latios does not have the dog in him. So it's gonna be two specs and one speed. Yeah, and the Swallow has double team, so... 
how to get through that. Whole double team. Doesn't have to do it, but. Alright. 60%. 66. It is close whether I tank this or not. Uh, 52 to 60. We do tank it. That was 52. So we're not scared of anything. We're not even going to one-shot the, uh, the Whale Orb. It doesn't matter because the most damaging move it has is Water, water Spout. And if you attack it while well, it uses that, it ends up doing like three to four damage. So, not a threat. Was that one? I think that was one. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Luster Purge and, and Heal. So one thing that is interesting about the two versions, um, this is obviously this this section is obviously one of the biggest differences between the two versions. Um, their hideouts are completely inverted, and also some of the the fights themselves are like changed, like in like where some of the trainers are located. Um, so if you play both, you gotta memorize both. Like, so, like, this trainer would be in a very different spot in Alpha Sapphire. And we're gonna fight a Numble on a mandatory trainer later. Um, Alpha Sapphire would fight a Golbat in a completely different spot. It would, it would, they'd fight it pretty much at the very beginning, where we, like, kind of in the general area where we fought our Mightyena. So, the, the Hydos differ quite a bit. And in addition, um, this next room that we're about to go into, where you get the Master Ball. In Alpha Sapphire, it's positioned in a way where you don't actually need to get this nugget that I'm about to get. There's like a, a path that allows you to just go behind these other two bad Pokeballs to get the Master Ball straight away. Yeah, those two Pokeballs are they're fake. They're actually Electrodes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some billies, some double agent billies working for Team Magma. <laughs> yeah, this is a spinner. Um, and Alpha Sapphire, there's like three spinner passes. Uh, one, one. Yeah, I think three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I think there's only two in, in this game.
So this fight is very interesting. Um, this is the only game, this this next Y are the only two games that feature hordes. Which is basically like five Pokemon that come out at once. They're pretty much exclusively wild. But for some reason they decided to make like a horde trainer in this game. Like there's like five different trainers at once. So basically, and for the purposes of the speed run, it basically just checks for if you have a spread move. Um, which so there's any Pokemon that learns Surf or Bulldoze or Incinerate or anything like that. If not, you lose a lot of time. Things have Roar and Sand Attack, and it's a really, really bad time. You give it time to do things. So we mentioned this before, um, Marsh Tom's gonna be in our slot two here, um, as our partner for Tate and Liza. So Latios, Latios is the Pokemon we're gonna use. Um, and all it serves to do is just feed X items to Latios. Um, and also, specifically Marsh Tom being out is very important as well, because it baits Solar Beam inadvertently from Solrock. So it makes this fight a lot more consistent, because that Solrock can use Sunny Day instead, that would really mess up our plans. We can use Psychic, Rock Slide. Um, Solar Beam is definitely the best, for sure. And it pretty much will always use it, because it's used the kill. Hope you all enjoy this Dusk Lighting. You don't get to see this in every ORAS run. Yeah. Very interesting. Very orange. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it was a lot nicer in XY. Yeah, sure. Maybe that's new and cooked, but... Looks a lot better in XY as well. So because, uh, because Solrock is locked into Solar Beam, pretty much, um, the only way that that doesn't happen is if... Uh, Solrock sees the kill with Rock Slide, which rarely ever happens. It's a spread move and doesn't do all that much damage. Um, so even though we're at half HP, I'm not going to need to heal before this fight. You just heal before the next... ...stuff. Looking down means I get two passes for the price of one, which is cool. Yeah, one thing that Omega Ruby does um, that Alpha Sapphire does not is um, Alpha Sapphire requires a lot more Surf usage. So we re me and Truly and a bunch, a couple other people, uh, like last year, we routed it so that you actually don't need to use any sort of PP item on your Surf PP. You could just make it through just as is. So all you have to do for your PP on Latias the whole time is just Lepavary at once. Meanwhile, Latias has to get an elixir that's pretty far out of, not not pretty far, like a little bit far out of the way. Um, so on top of the fact that Latias doesn't actually do that much damage, has to deal with the minimize. 
Right, because you're just using more dragon breaths in places yeah. of the source. I'm like saying exactly. money. Light screen is perfect. I have enough specs, right? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, it's just one. All good. Well, I guess it's just a good mod for this gym. Like, defensively, it's good. Offensively, it's good with Surf. Fits the bill. Mm hmm. No other mod's gonna do it as well. Yeah, so this section is completely, like, TNL was pretty much vanilla. Um, this next split is completely vanilla. There's nothing that changes. Um, actually, that's not entirely true. There's the um, experience chair for Vileplume X that pops up. That's basically it. So, on, on average, these splits will be a little bit slower than what you might see in an 80% run. But not by much. So boring, Ladios. What the heck? <laughs> For real. Cool. We should like make a use thunder. Something. Dang. Exciting. Something for content. We're not leading up to anything. Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> it's just gonna be regular Ladios gameplay. Mm -hmm. Definitely get interesting, a lot more interesting after Lanios is relieved of duty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're gonna get a lot of our pokes in Victory Road. We're going to get three in Victory Road, and we're going to get one before Victory Road. So a lot of main getting and establishing before Elite Four. Twenty-one hours is a lot. Uh, well, good thing we did not do that whole stream. Yeah, it's been very taxing being Pokemon Spirits TV, being live for three days. Oh, give me a break. Come on. <laughs> Please. Oh. I have a question. <laughs> this is... I think this is just like a encounter that you can get. Right? Really? Yep. <gasps> wow! Yep, I, I've been here before. Oh, hey. I lost a level and I got an encounter. I had no idea. My mind is blown. <laughs> There's your content. That's 
Wow, that makes you think. <laughs> Got a Dragon Breath these. If you get him, uh, well, Embargo doesn't actually do anything here. Okay, that was almost certainly a range. How many Luster Purges do I, I mean, surely I have enough, right? You only need, okay, I have five, okay. <laughs> Plenty, okay. Um, also going to be quite a bit of setup on, on, um, Maxi. One yep. speed, one special. Uh, yeah, one special, actually. Swag Bowler. Let's go. I'm, like, not even doing them on purpose anymore. I just kind of... I don't even know like how I would do them intentionally. It just kind of happened. One of the teams that we just passed is uh, Earthquake, but mm -hmm. none of the all mains need Earthquake to be taught. It would be very useful for Groudon if it didn't already have it in his moveset. Right. Yeah, so one thing about this fight, Maxi has AI that since Mighty Anna has scary face, if it sees that you're faster than it, it will always try to lower your speed until you are slower, which will never happen because our speed will never actually get lowered. Perfect. Um, the one oh, move that we don't want to see is Embargo. Mm -hmm. We just pops our setup. And, uh, that thing's gonna... I wonder if I'm supposed to be 38 for this Crobat. That'd be unfortunate. I think you are. Uh-oh! <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be at least a range. Okay, well... Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Yeah, I have no idea if that was a range or not. Probably was. Maybe like 10, 16. If I had to guess. Like 6 and 16 would be the difference. The level. Thirty-five for bolt bio bloom is what we are we're striving for. Um, we still have the Grout and experience to go, but, um, yeah, should be okay here. I think I saw, maybe, I think I might have seen I was quiet nature on Vioplume. Not sure. Uh, in which case, I think I, I think I'm fine. I, I'm I'm triple speeding anyways, so should be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. These next fifteen minutes are basically mashing in cutscenes. Mm hmm. Exactly.
I will be checking my Pokemon Sleep app. I really thought I was gonna uh, do a number on the uh, the lead we had on this marathon, but I think I'm probably gonna be hovering estimate, which is yeah. not what I thought I'm gonna thought was gonna happen. Assuming things go like average from here. Well, actually, we do have to do. We do have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that is oh, true. Yeah, it doesn't take very long. And they gotta fight the double battle. Oh, uh, yeah, it's true. How long is the Dazzling Gleam detour? It's pretty far. It's, um, if you can picture where the candy below Mount Pyre is, uh -huh. it's like deeper to the left in that route. Okay. So it means you have to fly back afterwards because you can't hop over the ledges again. Oh. Yeah. If you have um an extra poke with you in Victory Road, then you you're forced to take a, a double battle that you'd normally skip. And one of the upsides of this though is that you can get your encounters because I need three different encounters for Victory Road. I can get some of those encounters while I'm just moving through Victory Road normally, yeah. instead of just at the end. Right, hope Al wakes up soon. <laughs> I don't want to. Do you sleep in? Heavy sleeper. Mm. Has missed tournament races with uh, sleeping in. And remember that used to be pull we used to do a bunch of one to trade races in 3DS Discord. It always it would always just be about like everyone trying to wake Pulse up, because he would always <laughs> sleep in. Yeah, I mean basically this just given we have the master ball. There's nothing really that happens. Uh, all the way up until we've caught Groudon. Everything's just kind of set in stone. We're going to get our variants again after all this cutscene's over, because then we can start to establish our Vile Plume. We're going to get a TM for a different main later. The Vile Plume setup is pretty slow. I really would like to know my stats. Probably go back and check those, honestly. It's possible I can skip an X special if I'm actually quiet. While there's not much to do right now. Yeah. You know, I got nothing to do. I can go look for it. I'm already there. It's all good. Yeah. Just missed it. Okay. 
7535. I think that's naive, actually. <laughs> Very wrong. Am I... Maybe... Maybe that was lax? Yeah, lax. Wait, 35 speed? Yeah. At, at, at 30. Oh. Uh, yeah. Checks out. know if it's worth it to give a meal to Snorlax like it's not gonna level up yeah I'm the same way <laughs> yeah drought theme definitely makes you feel a kind of way for sure Speed is zero to three, not that it matters. Special attack is 14 to 16. So we're not gonna skip our spec today. What did TCS finish with, by the way? I don't think I ever saw the end of his run. Uh, 319. Damn, pretty good. Yeah, considering the, the River Bank wipe mm -hmm, ended up mm -hmm. pretty, doing pretty well. Good for him. Not a marathon PB, but alas. Damn, ESA was faster? Crazy. Yeah, 318. Good stuff on a big stage. <laughs> I guess one thing that is worth noting here is that you don't actually technically need to catch Groudon. You can kill it as well. You can't run away. Um, if you kill it, you can afford to skip the Master Ball. Problem is, most pokes can't afford to actually kill it because it's very powerful, it's very hard to kill. Same with Kyogre. So, nobody really opts to do that. Plus, in this case, Groudon's a really good poke that you can use for a fight with Baton Pass. So, absolutely no reason to not catch him. Damn, skip that level. Nice. Time save. Let's go. Engage two minute cutscene. Two minute cutscene. Longest in the run. Very 
pretty nice. It's pretty nice timing too. Like a nice. Yeah. It's not really a midpoint, but like it's a good chunk between like before and after, so that it's actually worth using. But yeah, TLDR, we saved the world. That's all. What else is there to do here? Um, yeah, basically just teaching Groudon the moves that it needs to know. Hopefully we get a good crowd on, although it doesn't really matter that much. Hopefully we get a good cool fairy, that's what I hope for. Does it really matter that much? No, 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 I mean a, a fast cool fairy. Oh, makes sense. What a nice sunset. Yeah, that's alright. After seeing XYs, I'm just like not impressed. <laughs> it is very orange. <laughs> like, very orange. Poured a nice old glass of orange juice into the sky. Yeah, Zinnia, we're not going to be seeing her anymore today, unfortunately. But she's cool. For the longest time I thought the cutscene in the the forest at the beginning of the game, I thought the person that they were that, that was there was like uh Courtney or something. I think it was yeah, I think I thought it was Courtney. I think on my first playthrough, like probably thought that was Courtney, because like how am I supposed to know Courtney has purple hair now? Yeah. Also, how are you supposed to know who Zinnia is? Yeah. Character that did not exist. So I bought a bunch of dust balls and I was almost rethinking that for a second before I realized that literally every single catch I have left in the run is in a cave, so mm -hmm. it doesn't actually matter. <laughs> and I'm probably going to be actually dust balling most of them. I'll quick ball Clefairy, but for the most part, most of the stuff I'm catching is like middle stage evolutions, fully evolved evolutions, so they're not necessarily going to be very likely with a quick ball. So we're going to probably be weakening them first. Nope, that's not it. Um, Smackdown. See, Groudon can learn Rock Polish. <laughs> 84 speed, point. is that what I saw? Huh. Ninety-four. Okay, that will not be an issue. Yeah, you got the thirty-one Even. attack. Yeah. Brick break. Oh, 
Hopefully I don't mess up the uh, the puzzle like I did in GDQ. Oh. Surely that wouldn't happen again. Now I'm being too cautious. I got my own head. Go safely set an amazing run. Uh. <laughs> you can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> There's no universe no where this is amazing. <laughs> could, could be record, yeah. Not a high bar, but yeah. Actually, no, I can literally can't be record. I have no X specials. Oh, yeah, that's kind of a problem. Hmm. Um, things have ice moves in this. At least they have sleep powder. That could be a, something. Yep. We're going powdering. Yeah, uh, normally I'm supposed to go like three X specials on this fight. Mm hmm. Oh my god, this is gonna be so bad. Oh no. This is very awkward. That's it. No! Oh no. Oh no. Go back to sleep, go back to sleep, go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sure wish I equipped the metronome. <laughs> that wasn't even close. Oh, I know why. It's not like high base power. Mm -hmm, it comes mm -hmm. with That's not good. Alright, Celio and Seeking Less. Uh, Celio, what's up, man? Go to sleep. Oh. Here's a war Aurora Beam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh no. <laughs> uh, chillin, chillin, you chillin. Just kill. We're good. You just kill. Oh, for that. Sure. You took 80. You took gain 28, so you're gonna go above 80. Yep. It's all math and that. Don't die. No. Oh, dude. <laughs> Ain't this no is way. unbelievable. Never revive. <laughs> you can heal. I'm totally about to get horns rolled in the face. Oh, oh man. You really not see the kill here? I'm not even gonna be faster then. I Anything? think he X speed then, right? Okay. Oh my god. Uh X speeding is not even enough here. 
Porn drill miss. Oh my god. 36? 37. 37%. What a guy. What did I do? I don't know. Was that your last revive? Yeah. Well. I don't know how this happened. Sure as hell isn't going to be a win. So you, I think you can do this. But who's got to count it, right? Uh, do I have the X speeds to use now? One, two, three. You're gonna uh, just buy them, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Disaster. If only I had saved. I still needed another X spec after that. Incredibly ill prepared. Oh, cool. It's all done for you. Yay. Wow. <laughs> Something went well. I think I'm supposed to have metronome on, I, I swear. Maybe I can tank a ice beam from Melodic. If I need to. you kill like based on the roll from oh wait well, yeah last melodic time. melodic's totally the the first poke so it wouldn't even matter anyways yeah maybe wish cash though i mean i think everything like did pretty much over half wish cash took half it will die celio took like we can mega drain celio right so it's gonna be fine I don't think you need it. I like how we're just dealing with like, you know, Latios and Mega Canberra and Groudon, and I was just like, Bile Flume and Celio, you know? I love this. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey. Defend them all while I like, yeah. Time save. Woo! That's not it. That's it. Yeah, in this game we get to fly to like... Uh, not just um... towns. Get to do routes and... I totally should have done that, so well. Water seems like really delicious. No, 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 no. Yeah, true, it, is, it does seem very clear. <laughs> Good, healthy water. Oh yeah, let me use the escape rope after this that I don't own. That's... that's cool. Oh well. Did I save? I think I definitely saved, yeah. I'm I'm really worried about my repels. Also, will I ever get that's a soul rock. No, man. No. Okay. Dread again. That's it. Yo. Where is it going? Closer. Please don't go on, up. Uh, uh, okay. You can see. Oh yeah, here we go. Yes, okay, let's go. Huge. Got a really nice level of board. Okay, I'm supposed to have an escape rope here, and I don't, so I'm gonna... Not be identified in Hoenn. Pokedex really said you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after you beat, um, no, after you do Kyogre Groudon stuff. Like the spawn tables get different. Oh, I don't need. I, okay, I was worried for no reason. I totally don't need repels for Victory Road. <laughs> it's all good.
very weird that the background was like blue sky. When um, orange. Don't need any of these anymore. I do want to equip Petcha Berry or a Persa Berry or something that isn't the red orb. Like soon, like now. We are looking for three pokes. Mawile, Leron, and Metacham. Mm-hmm. Like who shows up. Not the best poke to have out when this is happening, but it's the best one we got, so. The champ's good. Okay, that's one. Two more. And if I see one deck nav, I hopefully can try to react to them as well.
Layer yeah. on. Okay. I think that this has the better catch rate of the two, so I will quick ball this. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything to weaken either of these next two. So hopefully it just gets in. Okay, cool. moving you just go in front of those two get more biking but yeah extra cards in our party we gotta avoid that double it's surfing mm-hmm that's not swords dance we try it though Damn, it lived naturally. Damn. Metacham. I'd like to be on the lookout for Mawile if I can. I don't want to miss it because it is kind of a rare encounter. that double so this is a double that you wouldn't normally have to fight I think I crit Basharna. It's good. Are Mega Stones using this? Uh, I think we're doing Mega Mobile. Yes, that's that is the only one. And I think I know you re you red orb for uh, Steven as well. If that counts. Yeah. It's kind of funny that Metacham and Nagron have Megas. Yeah, Not and either. actually have the aggro night. Yeah. I wasn't supposed to get it necessarily, but I'll save here just in case I run out of balls somehow. I think maybe I should put Metacham in the front, just because it probably is a better way to weaken Mawile. I, I was concerned of how much I can actually. The earthquake and overheat definitely kill, and uh, SmackDown doesn't do nearly enough. Oh, well, it's a ten percent. Mm-hmm. The rarest of the three, unfortunately. Maybe here for a little while.
Hariyama. That's darn it. Definitely not love sick, unfortunately. <laughs> Pretty much off the table. You have a level 40? Is level 40 what? Mode repel trick. I'm not repelled. I don't have any repels. Yeah. There we go. Hey. I don't have quick balls anymore. Um, Grats on paper cutter. Oh no! Oh what the no! Fuck? How is that possible? This is unbelievable. All right. Um, do I have any repels? No. I don't even have it at level forty. This is um, this is horrible. What do I do? Um. What do you have? Yeah, that'll do. That's so unfortunate. I feel like that couldn't have been likely to kill. I don't know. Oh, but then, yeah, though, yeah. And then that happens. Um, let's slip it out and then. Yeah, it was a range. Don't have any repels and also no play runs not level 40. Only a level 40 would work. I could go back and get some repels because I do have a candy to candy Agron to Agron. Mm -hmm. Or well, when, when do you get Agron? I feel like it's not level 40. Yeah, 42. So I can't candy yet. Oh, but I can't go this way either. Because then I fight Wally. Um. I don't know.
I guess I should just stay in and smack down it, I guess. I didn't realize Mawile was that frail. Medicham would have been level 40 if I didn't level it up. No, it's a Mawile. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd probably not mess around. Do you have like two dust balls? I have like four, I think. Okay, that's not that bad. So I could just throw them, but. It's like 30%. Baton fast and baton fast. I didn't think <laughs> it would happen. <laughs> no, dude. Wow, I didn't even try on that one. So like 50%. Okay. Oh my god, finally, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> holding something. Iron ball, let's get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want that. Five percent, very pog. I should find a way to make Pelog a part of the route so that I sometimes get lucky eggs. <laughs> so true. Fling, if you know, if only I got that. By default. Are you assuming that Wally did not get all eight badges? Wally got all eight badges. Wally's my goat. He's he's so good. He... Wally was here before you caught Groudon. Yeah. We're just like honestly bad. I think that's I think that's our answer. Yeah. I think it's like a skill issue. Well, he must be doing 80%. No respect for Baton Pass. My mother could have gotten here faster with the any percent route than I did mm -hmm. with this one.
No. Yeah, that's what's that's what's coming. <laughs> oh. Bound to happen eventually. Wait, what level does Agron level? Forty two. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, good. Like my entire party needs to heal. I got a PC heal, like actually everything, and then deposit Marsh Tom. One. Oh, I have pure power. I'm stupid. Of course I have pure power. It's a Medicham. I cannot tell you how confused I was that um, that high jump kick killed with 60 attack. It's like, why am I even picking this mod? Medicham have a person on? It will soon. You got a much better fight with Rick Rick. Very simple. Mm hmm. I didn't check my speed. Uh, it shouldn't yep. be a problem ever. You're mild, so it's not a problem. Yeah. Nice and easy fight. <laughs> I mean, yeah, high jump kick's unfortunately just like not enough to kill everything at minus one. So it's just like, why risk things when you don't have to at that point? I don't know if I need to teach SD or not, but to mobile. Or any way it already has it? I don't think so. I just realized before I switched out of Zoom World, the C4 was three fourths huge power. <laughs> kind of crazy. Huge or pure power, I guess. Same thing. Oh, 
Uh, Lola Light. Swords Dance. So the reason why Mawile is so good here is obviously, well, first of all, it's 100 base attack Mon with huge power. I think it's like the highest attack you can get naturally, 105 with huge power. Um, but also, the speed doesn't really matter all that much because you have Sucker Punch. You can kind of just get into kill range and then just... Sucker punch everything. We're gonna hope for future sight here, or like shadow punch or something, but may not happen. Unfortunate. I knew it would tank, I had faith. <laughs> uh, not really at all, because you don't need anything. Like Intimidate on Dusclops. Actually slower than Dust Noir, which is very rare. Is this uh, Shadow Ball range? Yeah, should be. Nice. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't. Okay. Kind of. Really scary. Uh, guess he'll old save boy. Are you even someone to say boy? What can I yeah. do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's to hoping that foul play doesn't kill me. Well, foul play doesn't take in, uh, modifiers into, into account, so I should be fine. Yeah. Chilling. Perfectly fine. This is where we use a candy. So I got a candy, Laron, it's Agron. Yeah, it's each 3 TM because I don't have Rock Slide. So 
We got own claws. You're just not gonna use the candy. Yeah. No, the candy's for uh, the candy's for uh, Clefairy. Oh, okay. Or Moon Blast. Need that move. Put on Metronome. I haven't equipped that on anything in a little while. So yeah, Clefairy learns Moonblast at 46. So I gotta keep it as Clefairy until then. And also, it only hits 45 naturally off of this fight. So you need the candy to get to 46. Otherwise, you have to make a detour to get Dazzling Gleam, and obviously that's weaker. And yeah. I guess I'm already way overrested. Maybe I should have just mega evolved just for fun. Not even trying to use light screen. Interesting. <laughs> okay, I think even with hail at this point, I should be hitting through snow cloak, so we should be good from here. The Glee does have ice shard. I think, I think I will be tanking it. Maybe not. I don't know. I anticipate it probably does like 15 at minus one. Yeah, assuming this is the last tech of hail, I, def I definitely think it should be good. Yeah, exactly. Maybe in another run. Someday. Yeah, 
I got scared for a second when I didn't see the, the moonstone, but I was in the wrong bed. So. One thing that can happen here is it is it should be using um, Moonblast here as its default move. Um, after one Calm Might, it should switch to Aerial Ace. Um, well, actually, I am Calm, actually. Maybe I'll just Aerial Ace right away. That'd be good. But obviously, Moonblast has a chance to lower special attack. So I would have to call mind again if that happened. That's cosmic power. I guess that works too. Did they call mine twice? I don't even remember. Yeah. Okay. So that was that's it then. Pretty easy fight. Another thing about um, Museum Roll Fight is that it uh, it takes forever because a Zoom Roll, you go into the fight at like level 38, and you level up like four times within the same fight. It's a lot of levels. Oh, please. <laughs> Please, uh, I just, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> All that's on my mind is watch this crowd and beat the living hell out of Steven, and then win race, and then the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bed as soon as my stream turns off. Me By the way, Hemlock has glasses today. Yep, I have, class like, I have class in like nine hours, and it's like an hour away. <laughs> so yeah. It's just teachers giving out syllabuses, no problem. Practically not even a class. So not true. No lecture.
Primal Aversion here because you're massively underleveled, and it replaces the the role of teaching strength, so that you can hit the clay doll instead. I'm just gonna overheat. Three spikes. Very nice. Skarmory can only spike if you have other pokes that are alive in your party. Oh my god! That saved my life. Oh, we just showed him. Yes. <laughs> We're at 90% away. Yep, and some mm -hmm. strength we're using overheat. It's a free throw, Greta. The free throw. Come on, hit it. Now you never miss those. Bang! That's right. Bang. That's gonna be wraps. Thirteen mons in, thirteen mons out. Only the Hall of Fame were 13 Pokemon large. <laughs> so true. This could have certainly been better, but <laughs> glad we made it. Certainly was a run of all One time. One of the runs. I blame 3.30 AM. <laughs> ignore the fact that most of this run was not at 3.30 AM. Just ignore that. Actually, none of it yet. <laughs> so <laughs> true. Yeah, I mean... Or there were a couple of incidents that were just like, you know, unlucky. There was one oversight, I guess. Two, actually. There was a couple pretty big oversights. Yeah, fun, right? Uh, I had fun. Fun. Glad you had fun. <laughs> Tucker's like, that makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had fun, man. <laughs> Gang's all here. I'm just gonna be on the fade out here. And time. Yeah. Morris Baton Pass. I probably will run this more in the future. It has potential to be like a decent enough time. This is this is this was not it though. This was this run was something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, low-key, though, like, it definitely looks fun. I put a lot more work into the XY Baton Pass route than this one, I will say. Because there's a lot more that has to be done for that. None of the fights went too poorly. Flannery was... Well, Vileful went one. poorly, but that, it went in with zero specials. Yeah, I mean... So. <laughs> That's just an oversight. That yeah. should have been fine. 
Um, all, I mean, all the stuff that I, I mean, I, I put in some extra safe options spe specifically for this. Um, dear dude, I got burned once. That Maybe. can definitely be. Just I, don't I feel like the, the backwards. Um, Battleberg. Oh. I think Sans Last has just got to go. Oh, yeah, Sash was so good. It's just too big of a detour. Can I have to make him a chop work? I think. Unlucky. Anyways, if if uh, if all was awake, uh, I don't know if you guys are ready to uh, move on to the next run, but uh, I guess just like shoutouts to 3DS community. Pretty some some pretty good people in there. Tucker, thank you for commentating. Problem, no problem. Um, yeah, uh, so I think, uh, I think I'm probably going to try and go to sleep now. Uh, I wish all the, uh, HDSS runners luck in Thanks, their, man. uh, in their race.